we can avoid the most catastrophic impacts of climate change, but we need to get on with it. The climate is changing in ways that are not explainable by natural influences. We know it's human activities, that it's already doing harm. There is enormous momentum in the climate system, and there's enormous momentum in the human energy system and in agricultural practices. And the result is we cannot stop the increase of the impacts of climate change overnight. All the new news from climate science is bad news. Nature is not giving us any breaks. All of this means that we need to act urgently, not decades from now, but in the next 10 years. There are 22 states and territories, hundreds of cities, hundreds of corporations, hundreds of businesses who have embraced the notion that we're still in and the actions of all those groups and civil society besides are having some positive effect in offsetting the damage that the Trump stance has done. Now more than 70 percent of the American electorate agree that the climate is changing, that humans are the main culprits, that it's doing damage and government needs to do more. I think that can happen if we can mobilize, in particular, the business community. There are enough enlightened CEOs of major corporations who could go to the members of Congress and say, look, addressing the climate change challenge will be good for the economy, not bad for the economy. I think we're going to see a really transformed environment. Thank you.